Carpal tunnel injection. At the median nerve travels through the carpal tunnel, it may become compressed. Carpal tunnel syndrome is the condition of pressure being placed on the median nerve. The transverse carpal ligament is usually thickened at the rest, and this causes the compression of the nerve. The condition usually occurs due to an overuse injury, such as repetitive hand grip movements. What are the predisposing factors for carpal tunnel syndrome? Trauma, fractures, pregnancy, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, ganglion cyst, smoking, alcoholism, advanced age, obesity. As a result of this compression, the patient may experience pain and parathesia in the median nerve distribution, as well as weakness in the hand. This is a cross-section anatomy at the wrist. You can see the median nerve inside the carpal canal. You can also see the transverse carpal ligament covering the median nerve. And if this ligament is thickened, it can compress the median nerve. It's almost like a narrow tunnel and the truck is trying to go through that narrow tunnel. And we're trying to make a room for the truck by opening the tunnel. And this is the carpal tunnel surgery by cutting the transverse carpal ligament. Or we possibly can make a room for the nerve by steroid injection because it decreases the inflammation. The typical patient with carpal tunnel will have hand pain, numbness, and tingling in the radial three and a half fingers. These symptoms may wake the patient up at night. We usually give the patient night splint and anti-inflammatory medication. Sometimes you give some patients a steroid injection, and sometimes that's helpful. In general, you will know which patient will have a good prognosis from the treatment of carpal tunnel, and these are the patients that will have night symptoms. Another indication for good prognosis is the response to steroid injection. So if the steroid injection helps the symptoms, then that patient will do well from the surgery of carpal tunnel. Failure to improve after steroid injection indicates a less favorable outcome from the surgery. The injection is usually helpful when it is not clear to the clinician where the symptoms are coming from. Is it carpal tunnel or is it proximal median nerve entrapment or is it cervical radiculopathy? So if you inject the carpal tunnel and the patient improves, then you know the predominant problem is the carpal tunnel because all the three conditions can give the same symptoms. That's especially important in double crush syndrome where the nerve can be compressed at two different places along its course and one of them can be the carpal tunnel. So when it is not clear, do injection of the carpal tunnel. The injection also have therapeutic value. It allows a period of relief in patient with mild or moderate carpal tunnel symptoms. 80% of the patient have some transient improvement and 20% improve up to one year. How do you give injection of the carpal tunnel? Here is a cross section at the wrist area and you can see that the median nerve is located between the two tendons, the palmaris longus and the flexor carbi radialis. 
You can give the injection by ultrasound or you can do it blindly. When you do blind injection, you can do it by the usual approach or by a proximal approach. When you do the usual approach, you mark the intersection of the palmaris longus tendon and the distal palmar crease. Next, you go one centimeter proximal and one centimeter ulnar to that site. This will be the point of injection. You're gonna use 25 gauge needle with the preferred brand and amount of steroids and one milliliter of 1% lidocaine. Warn the patient before injection that if any feeling of numbness, paresthesia, or severe pain exists to let you know about it. If these symptoms exist, the doctor should withdraw the needle or adjust it before injection. You may use local anesthesia or a spray. Use a sterile field. Make sure you have a consent. Make sure you have time out sheet. Mark the site before injection. So how do you do injection? Put the needle at 45 degree angle to the skin of the wrist. Direct the needle towards the base of the thumb and advance the needle distally and slowly. How about the proximal approach? Mark the site 4 to 5 cm proximal to the distal palmar crease between the palmaris longus and the flexor carboridialis tendons. Advance the needle distally towards the rest at about 20 degree angle from the skin. Keep the needle between the two tendons. Be aware that the nerve is in between the two tendons. The nerve is really superficial and adjust the needle as needed, then inject the desired fluid. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.